Okay, in this video, what we're going to be doing is flashing the Circos card, um, the 1756M16SE from version, um, basically from version 20 to version 30 to get it back up so it's able to run in this program. So uh, what we'll do is we'll go to Control Flash and we'll open up uh, our control flash and, and again I'm using control flash 14.01 uh, so the firmware kit is already pre-built if you do need firmware or do need uh, the firmware that, that uh, to flash a card or anything like that just go to Rockwell's website and go to the firmware downloads and you should be able to get it um, I'll click next at that point um, this will be pull, go, uh, you know basically pulling up the whole inventory of what I have in my firmware kit which is rather big so what I'll do is I'll actually stop the video and pick it back up where it needs to be okay so now that the uh, firmware flash kit is pulled up and it shows everything that I have in my firmware again if you need, do need firmware <clears throat> visit uh, ab.com or rockwellautomation.com and you can download the firmware that you need in this case um, I already have it so um, I'll just select it <clears throat> I'm going to then uh, go to the uh, actual device that I'm going to be flashing, which I'm going through, basically traveling through my Ethernet um, driver, going through the Ethernet card, and then going to my Circos module. Um, and that module out is currently at 19.6. I want to take it to 30. So I'll flash that uh, all the way to 30. And then basically uh, click finish and then uh, go to uh, basically it'll pop up a window says are you sure you basically say yes you want you want to are you verifying that you want to start the, the flash this is now starting the flash um, which only takes a short amount of time um, if you've seen some other flash videos like processors and stuff that take a while um, this only uh, this doesn't do several resets during the flash and only does one power down and a uh, power back up which is very quick so um, then in turn makes the system um, that much that much more quicker um, you know as far as the flashing of this device again this is a 1756 um, M16 SE which is a 16 axis Cerakos card so um, you know this is exactly what it's meant for uh, will be run on version 30 and uh, actually have no problems. I've shown that on my last couple of videos. I uh, just wanted to, to actually show the true process of flashing up and down. Now once it's done, uh, it will tell you that the module's done. It will tell you the current version and the new version. And that it, either it failed or succeeded. In this case, it did update correctly. Uh, click OK, cancel out. Uh, at that point, now you see my program is actually good because my module is um, actually at the correct version. So again, I can actually run my code, um, which in this case needs to be cut on. And then we'll start it. So now the uh, code is actually running. If I open up a trend, then the trend is actually running. So that shows the whole process of uh, actually flashing and getting it fully functional. So um, what we'll do after that is come back and basically shut it off. We'll shut it, shut it off, shut the servo off, and that will conclude flashing a Cerakos card, which is a 1756 um, M16 uh, SE, uh, flashing that card from a version 19 to a version 30 which is currently working in a version 30 program so that verifies uh, everything worked and transitioned very well and um, again if you have any questions or concerns or um, any topics or anything you want me to make a video on uh, just drop me a line uh, you can visit my website at uh, onlineplcsupport.com uh, facebook is facebook forward slash online plc support um, then I have my Patreon, which is Patreon forward slash online PLC support. And then I have two Udemy courses, Servo Motion Mastery and Servo Mo Advanced Servo Motion Mastery, which you can check out. They'll all be linked below. Uh, and then probably some of the other videos that I have for uh, as far as firmware flashing. 
So again, thank you for your time. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you can get all the notifications for future videos. And that is if you want to stay up on the current events of uh, programming and thereof. So again, thank you for your time and your support.